Reconstruction of the features of ancient roses carried out by scientists from China have shown that the common ancestor of these plants had yellow flowers. Researchers point out that their work may make it easier for growers to combine different features of roses. Today in every florist you can meet different colors roses, but results of research by researchers from Beijing Forestry University in China, which Nature Plants appears in the journal Nature Plants indicate that in the distant past all the roses were probably yellow. Roses are popular ornamental plants, although they also have others the applications. For example, rose oil is made in the production of perfumes. They are also used as medicinal plants, and many species it is edible. They appeared on Earth about 40 million years ago. They are coming probably from the eastern parts of Asia, but now their range includes vast areas of the northern hemisphere. Currently, roses are the most widely grown ornamental plants in the world, they make up 30% of the world's cut flower market. And then, however, they were grown by the ancient Sumerians 5,000 years ago. The people by for centuries, they crucified different species in order to obtain the desired qualities. Today there are over 200 species of roses. They have a wide range of flowering frequencies, the smells and colors. Climate change forces rose growers to change their approach from purely aesthetic features for breeding varieties of roses that are more resistant to stress factors such as drought, disease, and are easier to care for. Accurate understanding of the origin and evolution of roses, both wild and cultivated varieties, can not only speed up breeding work, but also help in the protection of endangered varieties. In their work, scientists collected 205 samples over 80 the species of roses. They sequenced their genomes, and they also used the methods known from population genetics and other fields to determine the characteristics of ancestors the species of today. This helped them outline evolutionary history and geographical and link links between rose species. Reconstruction has shown that a common ancestor the samples were a plant with yellow flowers, with a single row of flakes and with seven leaves. As the roses evolved and domesticated, they developed new features, in this new colors. This research also showed that there once existed much a greater variety of roses, but it decreased when breeders started focus on other features such as resistance to disease and long shelf life after cutting. Work also shows that many features of old it has survived in wild species, and growers may want to restore them. The authors of the publications hope that their research will facilitate breeders of roses combine the features they expect. These works can also be found application in activities for the conservation of endangered species of roses.